Over the years, I have played many titles from the video game company that is Rockstar Games. From the likes of the Red Dead series, the Grand Theft Auto series, LA Noir, Max Payne, and many more. But one thing I have yet to do on any of these games is either 100% the game or platinum the game. So I thought, why don't I start off by platinum the game I've never played before, which is... To obtain the Bully Platinum, I will have to obtain 38 of the trophies this game has to offer. Which of course will have me playing through the main story, obtaining collectibles, and completing many side activities this game has to offer. Which would include the most tedious side activity in this game, on the story on how I became the problem child. Our journey starts off by us getting dropped off by our also loving mother to a brand new school that is called Bullworth Academy, where you're introduced to the protagonist of this game, Jimmy Hopkins, where soon enough after getting dropped off, we are greeted by the vice principal of the school. We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Oh, I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Which we soon realize wasn't the case. Going into this game, I know it's the creators of Grand Theft Auto, but I did not realize how much like Grand Theft Auto this was actually gonna be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this guy just literally joined school and decided to beat the crap out of everyone who comes near him. After beating up everyone who comes near me, I head over to the principal's office and I am soon greeted by this man who already hates my guts. You must be Hopkins. Uh, uh huh. What? Uh huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent <laughs> conduct, disrespecting yep. staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. After you having a lecture from the principal and him basically telling me to behave, I do the absolute opposite and I decide to go in on the vice principal. I want to see, like, what we can do on this. Oh, we can, we can be a rock! Yeah, say that! Oh, oh, oh. You've been busted, okay. Oh, I thought I was going to break his arm. After causing more mayhem across the school, it was time to go to our dorms, where we are introduced to the biggest guy in the school, Russell. <laughs> oh, wow, he's big. Break it up! That's enough of that! Break it up! Why are you not in your uniform, young man? Well, I was trying to get to Go my uniform. change immediately! Oh, come on. We head into our dorms and we are introduced to Gary. Friend, trust me. In a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. Oh. So how about I show you around? Oh, it's optional. Gary offers to show us around, which at first I didn't agree with. This is how you show someone around. I don't want to be shown around. I'm guessing you have to get shown around. Yeah, it turns out beating up Gary wasn't the way to go. So eventually I decide to let Gary show me around the school, where he introduces us to the different cliques of the school. Which the cliques of the school are divided into different groups, which are nerds, bullies that we met earlier, preppies, greasers, and jocks. After being shown around the school, it was time to go on to our first school lesson. Which you could tell straight away that Jimmy has done this before. Fascinating, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. We're actually really smart. How does he know what he's doing? You're almost done. You're a regular buddy. Oh, that was easy. Which then eventually would lead me into my first trophy, which is to complete three classes. The curriculum demands that you do these vocabulary uh, assignments. Find as many hidden words as possible mm -hmm. using the scrambled letters before the class ends. Ah, oh, God, it's like countdown or whatever it's called. Oh, what is this? I don't, I'm not good at this. Mole. One. Yes. Um, how are you meant to get all them? There's not a chance. So after sitting there for a few minutes, scratching my head, thinking I was playing Countdown, 
I go on to pass the lesson and... No, I'm not going to show me. Well done, James. Ooh, well done, indeed. first trophy. Ina. Complete three classes. Nice. After completing my classes, I go on to fight our first boss, or mini boss, shall I say. Alright, I get it, I get it. Oh, I want to grab this. What have we here? This is what you call the Captain America effect. Yeah! Oh. Oops. We defeat him and we obtain the Slingshot, which is probably the most useful weapon we obtain in this game. Continuing on, I start a mission where Gary tells us to go and harass the local homeless guy who lives on the school grounds. Yeah, that's a thing, apparently. Harassing Look. some old homeless guy is fun? It is! And you should be grateful you're not the victim for once. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Look for the hobo. Hey, Jimmy, tell me about this guy. Does he like to go in his own pants? Hey, do not make games like this. If I don't get that A, my mom will be so surprised. I don't know what we're going to do to this hobo. But they do not make games like this anymore for a reason. We meet the homeless guy who, after threatening to kill us, asks me to get a thing called a transistor. And if I get this transistor for him, he will then teach me some special moves. Hmm. I find the transistor and then I return it back to him, and then he teaches me a special move. Yeah, okay. He was my... yeah, nice. That's it. An uppercut. <laughs> Of all the things he could have thought was an upper right, Come back sometime, but not too early. I slit your damn throat. Damn. Don't forget to bring me a transistor when you come back. So the more transistor we find for him, the more we unlock, I guess. Yeah, so essentially the more transistors you find for this guy, the more moves he teaches you, which do become handy throughout the story, which helps me tackle tougher enemies later down the line. After continuing on with a few missions, and one in particular which made me feel like an absolute badass, I thought I was literally covering for the president, I had to slingshot all the bullies and protect basically the nerd giving the speech. This mission was sick. After continuing on with some more missions, it was then the special time of year, which is Halloween, where myself and Gary and all the other children were dressed up and in particular, Gary's outfit was very, very, very questionable. But it did fit him to a T. So we start the Halloween mission off by Gary telling us, as he always would, to basically go and terrorise every other kid in the school by playing pranks on them. Which I will give Gary this one. This is probably the one only thing this kid has ever recommended and was actually fun. <laughs> Absolute shot! You're getting it. You're getting it. Will you hang out with me? Excuse me. <laughs> Why are you hitting me? I didn't hit you. The marbles did. And I must say, some of these kids have some questionable outfits. I'll do it. Are you hurting yet? Oh, you're getting the stink bomb first. That was actually an alright mission. Sweat. Halloween soon ends. After that, we continue on to the last mission of the chapter, which is called Help Gary. Gary tells us we're going to take over the school together and tells me to follow him to the underground of the school where something's going to happen. So we follow him to the underground of the school and he basically sets a trap for us. So, Jimmy boy, here we are. The hole, the place where this school separates the men from the boys, the oh, wheat God. from the chaff, and all that nonsense. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people, keeping them in line? This is where Page I fighting? stand up to you, my friend. What are you talking about? I know you hate me, Jimmy boy. I know you said all that stuff about me behind my back. What are you He's talking about? Don't ass. play innocent with me. You want to run this school? I want to run this school. Only one of us is going to make it. I was so glad this guy betrayed us because I've been wanting to beat this guy's ass since I met him. Until he decides to run off like a coward and then sets Russell on me instead. Russell! Oh, man. Oh, it's Russell. the big guy. Now I hate you. I know. Russell. Go beat that little jerk who said that nasty stuff to me about your mom and those barnyard animals. Oh, that son of a bitch. Come here. 
Russell wants vengeance. Oh, I'm gonna beat his ass. I don't give a crap. So after getting my ass handed to me, I finally remembered what the hobo taught me. Those special moves. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Nice, here we go. Ooh, freshman. Complete chapter one. Nice. We complete chapter one, make friends with Russell, and then continue on to chapter two. With Russell pacified, I could be forgiven for thinking my troubles at Bullworth were over. But this place is a rotten onion. Peel off one stinking layer, and there's another even smellier one beneath. We start off chapter two with one of the rich kids, or preppy, shall I say, telling Jimmy about a place they all like to box. Which Jimmy just replies on telling the guys to get lost. Yeah, whatever. Oh. Okay. Continuing on, I decided to do a few more side activities. One was to actually do some more classes in this school rather than bunking them all off. And upon doing some more classes, would see me get the trophy to complete six different classes. Oh, teacher's good. pet. Complete six classes. Nice. Continuing on, I decided to just do some more free roaming around the school. And to my surprise, oh, after hours. Spend five hours, hours after curfew. Nice. Continuing on, I then decide to look where the boxing matches that rich kid told me about earlier. And to my surprise, I did not realize this game has a whole map. Oh yeah, well, I, you see the gates open, but you know, you don't think, oh, I can go through there now. What the hell? How far can we go? Nah. Nah. Oh, this has just changed. This game's just changed. Oh. Ooh. It took me a whole chapter to realize this game had a map. I literally thought you were going to stay in the school the whole time. So after I find out where the boxing takes place, I then decide to go down there and assert my dominance over the rich kids. Okay, okay. Oh, this is pretty fun. Right, right. Oh. Hopkins, you're pathetic. I love watching a good match. How the hell did he go down from that wimpy punch? I then move on to the rest of the matches. All of them were pretty easy. I then went on to taking one of the rich kid's girlfriends on a date to the carnival, which I must say ran so bad it was like changing over to another game. After taking the rich girl out, I then went on to beat the rich kids at a bike race. After the rich kids couldn't take me beating them at everything anymore, the leader of the rich kids and his cronies thought it would be a good idea to fight me outside the ring in bigger numbers, which they soon realized was a bad idea. Pathetic wretch, hiding behind your friends. I'm leveraging the assets I have and you don't. Friends. <laughs> Just shut up, Darby. Okay. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! Oh! This one can actually fight, what the hell? Loser. Not for long though. Oh! Oh! Oh, please don't let me die here, oh my Christ. Yes, there's Darby done. Now just for you, fella. And that box as well. Anyone else? Anyone else? There you go! Another trophy as well. Nice. Who's the boss now? I can't hear you, rich kids. Who's the boss now, my waspy little friend? Answer the question. You are louder. <laughs> yes. You are. That's right. Jimmy's a badass, man. Now you girls learn to play nice. You understand? Another one, popularity contest. Gained 100% respect from two clicks at the same time. Okay, nice. Chapter three starts up and I soon go for my next trophy, which is to buy 100 sodas. There it is, so delicious. 
I am so glad I did not do that at the vending machine. In chapter 3 we focus on going up against the Greasers, in which we are soon introduced to their leader, Johnny. Johnny seems to think his girlfriend Lola is cheating on him, so he asks Jimmy to go and take pictures of her and then bring them back to him. After we give Johnny the evidence that Lola is cheating on him, Johnny then tells me to get the guy who's kissing Lola to come to the abandoned building so we can gang up on him. We get the guy to the abandoned building where we have some weird kind of bike fight which was kind of cool. After this we find Lola once again with some more simps sucking up to her. That's nothing to a man of your means. Oh but Lola, I'd have to steal it off of my phone. But Lola, I thought that me and you- up? That's okay. <laughs> Jeez. I think I'm really cheap. Just a cheap slut. Well, that's it. No, no, no. But, oh, 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 wait. Ass. Ridiculous women. These kids oh, you both. are idiots, man. But I but I thought you liked me. The Greasers come to find whoever's chatting to Lola, in which Jimmy then sticks up the nerds, and now we're on the Greasers' bad side. The preppies, or the rich kids, shall I say, ask Jimmy to go and send a message to the Greasers, as they've been picking on one of the rich kids called Gord, which is the guy we were taking pictures of to begin with. In which Jimmy literally just agrees because the rich kids call him the boss, and he just literally says, okay. You little slum. Why should I? Because you're the boss. Exactly. I'm the boss, and I'll go send the message. We go to the Greasers' hideout and beat them all up, take over the Greasers' hideout, then go on to take a race with Johnny and his other goons, and whoever wins the race wins Lola. What the hell do they see in this girl? We win the race, and just to annoy Johnny even more, make out with Lola. Why is that dog going nuts? <laughs> Later on, there's an all-out brawl, for Lola, in which Jimmy isn't bothered about but gets involved in anyway, which in the end puts us 1v1 versus Johnny. In which upon defeating Johnny, earns me the trophy Junior for completing chapter 3. As I started playing through chapter 4, I started to get some more easy trophies along the way. The first one I got was Casanova, which was to kiss 25 people. Kiss you. If you kiss this should day, easily be the last one. I've done this about good. 30 times now, please. Casanova, thank you. In which I don't think the nerdy girl was happy about. Another one I got was for kicking a ball a hundred times. This is literally just glitched here. And I can get a trophy from it, come on. The 100 times of kicking a ball has got to pop for this. Like, it's got to count, please. You know what I mean? Yes, it was! <laughs> kicking the ball. Kick 100 soccer balls. Okay. Well, that was just absolute luck. Another one I got was for being a helpful citizen by mowing 10 people's lawns. I think this should be the last one. Is it going to pop? Green form, there you go. Okay, so starting off chapter 4, we go up against the nerds who for some reason, somehow, have got like some massive base with cannons and all sorts of other stuff. Man, what the hell is that? Jesus! Oh my god, this thing is so annoying, get off me! Why do I feel like I'm against like people from Gears of War, like what the hell is going on here? You can't be oh, serious. If I have to start this again, I swear. If I have to start this again... Oh, for... F yeah, this mission turned out to be pretty annoying. Eventually, I do take out the nerds in their hideout. And then after that, we decide to team up again. Against our new enemy, that is the jocks. I then went on to use the spud turret myself. And it earned me the trophy down for the count by knocking out 200 opponents. The nerds come up with a plan for me to sabotage the football game that the jocks play in, but in order to do that I would have to be undercover, and to become undercover I would have to become the mascot. But first, I would have to face off against the original mascot and then take his outfit. I face off against the mascot in a swimming pool, where this guy literally took the cosplay far too far and actually acted like a bull. This guy's a dumbass, why does he keep charging at me? Yeah, just act like a human next time, you might have a chance. 
After we gain the outfit and replace the mascot, we go around sabotaging the football pitch by the likes of gluing the seats, placing dynamite on footballs <laughs> and other things. The jocks eventually find out that it's me under the mask and challenge me to a football fight where yet again, Jimmy beats everyone then to take on the captain of the team, Ted, which arguably he was the easiest boss so far. After defeating Ted, I earned the trophy Senior for completing Chapter 4. We enter the last chapter of the game and Jimmy has essentially become the king of the school. Until someone starts to mess with everything and starts stealing boxing trophies, putting rats into the library and just basically teasing with all the groups of the school. They even put Johnny in a mental institute, which of course Jimmy had to break him out of. We later find out who was behind everything. It was a group called the townies yes yet another lick in this game so this is another group again after we find out who is behind everything because everyone's basically blaming jimmy for everything that's going wrong we find some evidence and we report back to the rich kids and we basically explain to the rich kids this has all happened because we listened to gary yes that guy who's not appeared since the first chapter now knowing I was near the end of this game and I only had a bit of story left to do, I thought I'd go and do some more side activities and gain some more trophies before finishing the game. The first one I got was Rich Kid Blues for having $100 in pocket change. The next one I went for was Watch Your Step to trip 25 people with marbles. I mean, if I'm slipping, it, it doesn't matter as long as they're slipping. There it is! Watch your step. The next one I went for was completing every single class this school had to offer, in which completing my last class would earn me the trophy Boy Genius. Well done. Where, as you can see, I became the Countdown Champion. I didn't at all Google any of these. And that should be the last lesson. There it is! Boy genius! Thank god I don't have to attend a class in this stupid school anymore. Then I went down to the carnival to compete in the go-kart races, where by completing all of these would earn me the trophy Speed Freak. Alright, we're coming around the bend and there we go! Speed Freak, that was a piece of piss. After getting a few more trophies, I thought now's the time I want to get through this story and get the story finished. So continuing on, we head on over to the principal's office where he just lays into us. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in this school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Well, the principal continues on to say that someone has snitched on Jimmy for doing certain things around the school, which Jimmy then suspects that it's Gary. After a long conversation with the principal, he comes to tell us at the end that he is expelling Jimmy from Bullworth Academy. Now get out! We've just got expelled from Bullworth and we've just been told that a load of towny kids have got in a fight with a load of Bullworth kids, which Jimmy doesn't really care about because he's now expelled from the school. But because our small little friend basically convinces Jimmy to do so, we go and find out what the hell's going on. So we go down and confront the towny kids and then we face off against their boss in some weird type of Star Wars fight but with drain pipes. We beat up all the towny kids and we make our way back to Bullworth Academy with our new friends. We get back to the school and find out that it's gone into chaos because we can only think of one person who would have done this, Gary. He's been scheming behind the scenes, literally behind the scenes because this guy has not been seen since chapter one. Basically, Gary has caused an uproar, which I have to defuse. The all the gangs are out to destroy the school and Jimmy has to defuse the situation by going across all the different groups and beating up the main boss of that group again. After we calm the situation down and we basically defuse some chaos, Gary finally shows himself. Gary, you little bitch! Come out! James, I've been waiting. Man, what the hell's going on with this guy's begin. mouth? And we finally have a face-off on the tower of a school why the hell are we up here two random kids just climbing a tower of the school having a fight but okay after a nice little tussle with gary we fall through a roof of the school i then earn the trophy graduate to complete chapter five somehow survive uh, no idea uh, uh, i'm done questioning this game we land into the principal's office who is tied up to a chair. We release him and he realizes that Gary set everything up and that Jimmy's not a bad kid after all. And he unexpels us. Now about that letter to my mother. What letter?
And that is where the bully story ends. Or so I thought, and then you are on to chapter six. But no, chapter six basically is free room. Where I'll have to now get the rest of the trophies for this game. And there is still a lot to get. To start things off, the first trophy I went for was Helping Hand to complete 10 errand missions, which are basically side quests, if you will. One of the weirdest ones, and the last one I had to do for this trophy, was to collect some crabs for some guy. Basically, a guy just asked the kid to go across a river, collect some crabs, and bring them back to him. Right, okay. Is this what you're looking for? Really? A friend in need is a friend indeed, friend. This guy is totally sus. Helping hand! Nice, at least I don't have to help out any more weirdos like him anymore. I then went on to get a couple of easy trophies. One was to basically slag off a hundred people, but in this case, I decided to just go in on this one guy for a while, where I think he was just questioning life. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. You wanna fight? Come on, step up. Then earned me the trophy Smart Mouth. Another one was to hit people with stink bombs 50 times which earned me the trophy Smell You Later. I then had to do some more go-kart races, but this time they were street races. And upon completing all the street races, earned me the trophy Pole Position to complete all go-kart street races. I then went down to the carnival to earn the trophy Glass Dismissed, which I have to break 300 bottles at the shooting gallery. This one took so long. To do. Consider I'm hitting about 20 bottles per game. I've already been doing this for about 20 minutes. This is horrible. Oh, thank the freaking Christ. Thank the Christ. That was painful. Get me off this mini game. The next one I went for was to achieve the high score on three mini games. One was called Consumo, which was basically a sumo game. One was called Nutshots, which was that. And another one was called Monkey Fling, which was basically flinging poop. Yeah. But you had to achieve high score, and then I earned the trophy Jewel Nebula. I then go on to earn the trophy The Wheel Deal, perform 200 wheelies on a bike, and then Marathon to travel 100,000 meters on foot. I then go ahead and give half the people in the school a wedgie. Now this is why it's called Bully, to earn the trophy Skid Mark. This is a pretty crappy way to show your friendship. <laughs> Next I got the trophy which was Skate Pro to travel 50,000 meters on the skateboard, which I just got throughout the game. The next one was to egg 25 cars. Man, what the hell? It just, what just happened there? Shame on you. Excellent! <laughs> the next one I got was for stealing 20 bicycles. The next trophy I got was called Little Angel. Why is this trophy called Little Angel? This game's about bullying. Why are we getting a trophy called Little Angel? <laughs> anyway, Little Angel is to complete 20 errand missions. We did 10 before. I've done another 10. And the Little Angel trophy. Oh. The next trophy I went for was called Kleptomania, and that was to acquire all room trophies. All room trophies is basically completing near enough every side activity in the game. You get a lot of room trophies in your room by doing the main story. Other ways to get trophies for your room are collectibles, for example, smashing gnomes, paper rounds. Another one is bike races, go-kart races, and many more things. I didn't realize you had to walk into your dorms for this trophy to pop, but there it is. The next one, you guessed it, was another traveling trophy. This time I earned the trophy for traveling 100km on the bike, and that earned me the trophy Tour de Bullworth. Now the next one took me by surprise, because I didn't know how many outfits this game actually had. The next trophy I needed to get was called Sharp Dressed Man, which in order to get the trophy, I had to purchase 250 clothing items. In order to do this, I had to have a lot of money and go around all the shops, buying all sorts of clothing that Jimmy can dress in, and some of it was very questionable. But after purchasing 250 items of clothes, the trophy popped. I got yet another trophy for completing some errands. This one was for completing 30 errands, which earned me the trophy Mama's Boy. The next one I knew was going to take me the longest. The next one was called Problem Child. For this one, I had to amass 160,000 trouble points. 
You earn trouble points by basically causing chaos around the school, bullying people, and your trouble points go up. But getting 160,000 trouble points was not an easy task. This took a long time to do. It took that much of a long time. I decided to sit in a tree for an hour just slingshotting people to get this trouble points up, which was very, very tedious. Finally! And now for the final trophy, which is just to pick 50 flowers. Green thumbs up, okay. And there it is, Valdictorian, or however you say that word. Another platinum down, that is platinum number 40 for me. Okay, that is it for the bully platinum. Very enjoyable game. No idea why they've never made a sequel to this, to be honest. Really surprised they haven't. I know it's a fan favorite. But yeah, that's it for today. Make sure you put a like on the video. It helps the video get out there. And if you're new here and you want to see more Platinum videos from me, make sure to press that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.